What's going on? My name is Jay and in this video I want to show you how you can create a cool slider very quickly using a Glide. Glide is a very tiny JavaScript library that you can use to create slider or carousels. I'm going to show you the difference between them later. Here you can see how cool this is, right? Um, so you can create things like this. I'm going to click get started. And here's the introduction. So they're, they're showing you um, a simple slider here. And then if you scroll down, they give you more information. But then I'm just going to go scroll up and I want to start this code. So I'm going to click here on setup. And you can see you have a couple options to install this. You can use NPM, you can download all the files and they have CDN, which I'm gonna use. So I'm just gonna copy this to get started. The CDN, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna close this for now. All right, I have here the page open. We're gonna use some things from here. This is my page, totally blank right now. And here's my HTML, right? All I have right now is a CSS file with some like minimum styles. We have like just a container. We have the res reset CSS. So what I'm going to do here before my body, I'm going to add that script, the CDN equals two and it's going to be that. All right, I'm going to save that. Nothing's going to happen yet. We need to add more stuff here. So I'm going to go here to all these options. And let's take a look at the get started, the introduction. Let's see the setup. Let's scroll down. All right, and you can see here, they're giving us the option to add uh, a style sheet so we can style the slider. Um, then giving us SAS if we are coding in SAS. And here you can see the basic HTML that we need to. So let's copy that. I have a container here inside the container. I'm going to paste all that and you will see why I have the container. It's just like centering my slider. So I'm going to save it and let's see what we have. All right. So you can see the only thing we have is a zero, one and two. That's it. So how can we run and how can we generate that slider? So let's go back. Let's keep scrolling down. And you can see here we have controls. You can add controls. You can add the arrows. I'm going to add this arrow so you can see uh, we have the track, which is this. And then after all the, the sliders, then we add the arrows, which is this code right here. So after the track, this right here, I'm going to add the arrows. So it's going to be here. Let's save that. And here you go. You have your previews and next you can change it. It doesn't have to be text. You can change it to icons. You can change it to whatever you want. So let's go back. It's not working yet. So what do we need? Let's keep scrolling down. All right. And here you can see we need to add this script. So let's just copy and paste this. Let's put it right here below our glide JavaScript. And you can see that it has a class, a CSS class. And this is just selecting the slider, which is this one right here. You, if you can, if you want to change the class, you can. All right. So let's save that. Let's go back. Let's see if this works. All right. So you can, I can see it's working, but it's not working. How suppose it's weird. It's kind of disappearing. Um, the whole slides are just sliding. And this is because we need a core CSS. And this is very important. If not, you're going to see some weird things. It's not going to work how it's supposed to. So let's scroll up. And here you go. There's this required CSS right here, core style sheet. So you can go ahead and download that. I already did. And you can see here my CSS. I have it right here, the core. And then I have the theme, which is optional if you want the slider to look better but you need this core CSS. Very, very important. Okay. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to add that. So let's go CSS and I have it inside CSS folder, the core. All right, let's save that. Let's go back. 
All right, and now we have zero, next, one, next, two. So it's actually working. And you can see when you go to the last one, it go back to the first one. This is a slider, right? If you want zero and then one and then two and then next it go again to the zero instead of going back all the way. So that's called a carousel, all right? That's the difference. So let's go ahead and add some images instead of numbers. I have some images here. As you can see, I have an images folder and some images. So I'm just going to change numbers to images. So let's go ahead and do this. Images, image one. And I'm just going to copy and paste all this and just change the number. All right, image two and image three. Let's save that. Awesome, now we have the images, so let's see if this works. Next, 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 and it goes back to the first. Perfect. I think I have another image, let's just copy this list item and change it to image number four. Let's save that. Let's see if we have that extra image. And four, we have that, and then it goes back again to the first one. All right, so one thing I wanna do is change it to a carousel. I don't want to go back to the first one. I just want it to keep it going when you click next, next. All right. So all you need to do is add some options to the code. Okay. So let's go here. And I'm going to, what I'm going to do here in this script, I'm going to create a variable. So I'm going to do const equals to, you can do options. You can do, I'm sorry const options, I'm going to do config like configuration equals to, and this is a, an object. All right. So right now they have a ton of options. So I'm going to go back, back here. And here we go. We have the options. So you can see they're giving you an example here. So you have um, the glide and you have the class and then coma, and then you can have an, an object with a bunch of options. But I'm, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a variable with all those options and then I'm gonna put it here. So what I'm gonna do is change the type first. It's gonna be a carousel instead of a slider. All right, and then coma. Something cool that you can do is the per view. So I'm gonna change that. You're gonna see what that is right now. Let's change it to two. All right, so. We can start with that. Now one, what we need to do is our add this variable here. So I'm going to put comma config. All right, I'm going to save that. I'm going to go back. And now you can see that we have two instead of just one. And here you go. Click next, next. And you can see that it's not going back to the first one because it's a carousel. So it's going to go just like it's like an infinite um, slider, right? That's a carousel. Let's change the per view to three. And there you go, now you have three. It's pretty cool, right? So now you have the option to add a theme that they give us. And you can see here, I have the glide.theme. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna add the CSS, oops, sorry, um, CSS, glide, and let's go with the theme. All right, I'm going to save that. And here you can see that now it has a little bit more style to it, right? It, it added this cool buttons that maybe you can replace by icons like an arrow. Um, so let's open this up a little bit. So you can see it looks very cool. Um, it's centered my CSS. I'm going to show you my CSS is centering and it's adding a little bit of padding here, but you can see how cool this looks. One important thing you can do is you can add breakpoints. So in mobile phone, if you want to just show one slide instead of three, you can do that. You know what? Let's do that right now. Let's go ahead here. Let's put a coma. I think it's breakpoint or breakpoints. Let me see. Let's 
let's go ahead and check this out. The breakpoints. All right, let's click that. Where is it? There's an example here. All right, so it's breakpoints. So I'm just gonna copy all this and see if this works. All right. All right. That looks better. I'm gonna do only one breakpoint. So let's, I'm gonna remove this one. I'm gonna do um, 800, let's see. And then let's change it to two. So we have three, we're gonna change it to two when it hits 800 pixels, the width, all right? Let's go back. All right, so we have two. It seems like this is less than 800. Let's open this up. And here you can see that now we have three. So you can control that and that's very important for mobile because experience is different. Make sure that they can see the image. Um, so very cool. There's a lot of options. Make sure you go to the page. All the links are in the description of this video. Make sure you go there. There's a lot of options so you can start playing with that. But you can see how simple that was and we have a fully functioning slider. You can add HTML inside each slide if you want to, like buttons, whatever. You can style your previous and next buttons. You can add bullet points. So this is just a starting point. And from there, you can add and you can code and you can do a lot of things. By the way, if you're asking yourself how I did this and like centering, um, let's go to my style CSS. And all I'm doing is I have the container and I have a height of 100. Um, virtual height and uh, I'm sorry, viewport height. And then um, I'm using Flexbox to center my slider right here. So that, that's why it's right here in this position, okay? So very simple code that you can do and add something very cool to your website or your web app. That's it. Subscribe if you wanna keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.